for some basic introduction of the ship I'm going to describe you uh, this lecture is about the introduction to the shipping uh, as a marine engineer if you are on board ship maybe you, you these things will be useful which will I will describe in this my lecture please stay tuned to my channel and watch this video if you take a view of the ship from the side then a ship will something like that okay that's the view of the ship this will in the propeller let's we draw a clear picture of the ship that will be good for you okay that's not a good picture that's why I'm removing it a good picture I want to draw a good picture this is the bulbous bowl And this is the keel of the ship. Here will be its propeller. This is the bulbous flow. Bow is also known as the front forehead and uh, forward three terms are called and this as in the form of the bulb spherical shape that's why it's called bulbous okay this is the shear of the shape the curvature for the to drain the water and this is the here it will be the propeller of the ship this is the steering flat here if you lay out the ship like this there will be a rudder for the ship to move port side or starboard side this is also called steering flat this is also called steering flat or steering room. Okay. This is now also known as astern or stern or ship. This is known as keel or sometimes called keelson. Here it is a coffin plate because it's of in coffin shape. <laughs> there, there will be a line which will determine it's that it's the double bottom of the ship. This is known as double bottom of ship or simply db b dot b dot tank because it's this space will use as a tank for the ballast to uh, maintain the stability of the ship or sh uh, upright the ship uh, for its uh, uh, sailing the uh, comfortable sailing okay db tank and uh, here it is the horse pipe. It is the horse pipe for the anchor. Anchor will stay here. Horse pipe. And from the chain, from the uh, room where it's driving the chain on, onto the wind glass, it's known as uh, this pipe is known as purling pipe. Spurling pipe. 
as here it's the structure and the wheelhouse this is known as wheelhouse wheelhouse or known as bridge from where you see toward the forward of the ship this is also known as superstructure the whole ship is in the form of uh, the forward of the ship is slightly above than the stern of the ship to drain the water seawater if the sea is rough or something like that here it's the cargo space you can this is this is the combing and this is the hatch covers if you see from the side maybe there will a uh, derrick in between these or a crane I'm showing the crane okay crane this is the hatch coming combing and this is the what's this called hatch covers maybe there uh, if it's general cargo there will also a uh, partition known as twin deck to use this above space of the cargo tank and uh, the pattern inside uh, is swedge like bulkheads also known as corrugation swedges corrugation or zigzag pattern also we can call it zigzag pattern swedges and this is for the used uh, used for to strengthen the cargo hold this is the propeller oh yeah here it will, it will be the funnel this is the neural part of the neural and here will be the funnel that's all for today please subscribe my channel if you like it and comment please if, if you want to know anything about lecture or about shape that's the basic lecture for the beginners if I want to add something for the interim staff I would like to add a good things that a ship is divided into center line this is the center line if the machinery is located to the port side we are seeing the top view or the helicopter view of the ship if this machinery is at the port side the the, the machinery will mark number two if it is tower side then it's mark number one but if there is a pump here two pumps here then this will number two pump and this will number one pump. similarly the i'm removing this if the shape have forward machinery enough machinery the forward will be one and off will be two if there is a two pump here then the this pump will number one and this pump will number two this is the terminology used I throughout the across the ship whole ship whole ship of the machinery maybe there is there is some irregularities but not so much up to extent 
what I want to know I want to add now that yeah I'm moving this no let us let me go here because of this center line the whole chip is the mirror the whole chip is mirror mean if there is a machine relocated here its overboard will be here this is the overboard for example there is a pump here or OWS here the pump will be at port side of the ship and if there is a machinery here for example generators any of the floor any deck of the deck of the ship then the it's uh, to shorten its piping also the overboard will be here of the cooling circuit of generators or DG that's all for today I will add some more thing in the next lecture please tune stay tuned to my channel thank you